an essential part that connects your engine to your car's central computer is the engine control module, also known as the engine control unit. Based on data it gets from other systems and electronic parts in the car, the ECM controls the majority of the engine's operations. The engine as a whole could have problems if the ECM were to break or malfunction because it wouldn't be controlled correctly. In this video, we're going to talk about symptoms of a bad engine control module, causes of its malfunction and replacement cost. Bad engine performance. Poor engine performance is one of the main signs of a malfunctioning engine control module. Your engine's internal combustion process will become less efficient and it will start to have timing issues. In the end, this will limit your ability to apply the gas pedal and accelerate the car. A malfunctioning engine control module could be the cause of any acceleration problems you experience. Bad fuel economy. The engine may not always know how much fuel to provide to the internal combustion process when the engine control module is malfunctioning. It will frequently begin using more gasoline than usual in order to maintain its regular driving requirements. This will result in a decrease in the vehicle's fuel efficiency, raising your gas bill. Car won't start. If you are unable to determine why your car won't start, it could be the result of a malfunctioning or failed engine control module. Your engine might still start, but that's about all it will accomplish. The engine control unit cannot provide electronic input to the engine if it is not functioning. Engine stalling? In addition to poor engine performance, the engine may also frequently misfire or at the very least stall. This suggests that there may be a problem with the engine control unit, but it does not imply that the engine itself is malfunctioning. It is likely that the engine stalling will be erratic, stalling occasionally and clearing up at other times. However, you ought to take immediate action if you only encounter it once. Check engine light. When the check engine light appears on your dashboard, it's one of the most obvious signs that there might be an ECM problem. There are numerous potential engine problems that could be indicated by this warning light. Hopefully, it will only indicate a problem with the engine control unit and not the engine as a whole. To find out the true nature of the problem, you will need to use a diagnostic scanner. Causes Why does an ECM break down? Several factors can lead to an ECM failure. An electrical overload is a frequent reason, which can occur from improper jump-starting or a short circuit in the electrical system. In these circumstances, exercise caution since a voltage spike may harm your ECM. Water damage or moisture is another offender. Your car's ECM can get wet, just like your phone. If the ECM is situated in a certain area, driving through deep puddles or floods increases the chance of water seeping into it and causing a malfunction. Be cautious of large splashes that may cause the undercarriage to get wet. Remarkably, poor fuel quality or additives over time can also cause ECM failure. Varying gasoline grades can have a detrimental effect on the ECM's performance and your engine's overall performance. Utilize premium fuels and the right additives to improve, not impair, the performance of your ECM. Ultimately, an ECM may fail due to age-related general wear and tear. This part have a limited lifespan, just like any other electronics. Components will gradually deteriorate due to daily driving rigors until the ECM finally fails. Replacement cost? Should you be certain that your engine control module is malfunctioning, you will need to have it replaced in order to keep your vehicle operational. The engine control module replacement is undoubtedly expensive. It begins at roughly $600 and can cost up to $2,200. The particular price will mostly depend on the type and model of your car. You can frequently save a ton of money on reconditioned or used parts. The costliest item will be the parts. Typically, the cost of the computer alone is between $400 and $1,600. It's likely that labor will cost between $150 and $200. Thus, even if you manage to find a reasonably priced and qualified mechanic to replace the engine control module, the engine control module itself will still cost a lot of money.